Hello and welcome to this edition of Condominium Connection or Condominium Corner. Today we're going to talk about lighting retrofits. Uh, we're at uh, Kilgore State, a beautiful upscale condominium in uh, Toronto, Ontario. We're going to go through some of the existing lights here and uh, some of the changes that they're going to make at this particular building, which is going to uh, receive a gain of 35000 in annual savings. So let's go take a look. Come with me. What we have here is we have two sets of uh, lights for the building. We have the existing lighting, which is this one. This is an MR16. It's uh, 50 watts that it produces, and they have a two-pin system that's here. The MR16 is considered a halogen light, uh, and this unit is uh, throughout this particular property. The idea is to replace them with this particular unit. Again, it's a two-pin. This is an LED system. It's a uh, LED stands for light emitting diode, uh, very popular uh, nowadays. Uh, the benefits to this particular unit, it's a seven watt um, bulb and it produces uh, similar light levels as the 50 watt at a tremendous savings. So what we have is, um, we're gonna do a little demonstration here. I'm gonna ask the, uh, the cameraman, the superintendent here to, to show you how, just how easy that these MR16s can pop out and be replaced with these LEDs and get this building on to way of saving $35,000 a year. So let's get started. All right, Oscar, let's uh, give these uh, people a demonstration on how, the, how easy these come out. What you will notice is, is uh, the MR16s throw off a lot of heat, the halogen itself. So um, handling them with care, there's uh, gloves are required right now because the units are on, of course. And the LED system that goes in is um, it's done. Is done. <laughs> now we've shown you how these LED systems compare with the MRC, MR16, excuse me, systems. Now, what is this going to cost at the end of the day? The total project to change all of the lighting um, pot lights within the project would cost approximately $36,000. Annual savings we have is $34,000 in the electricity charges based on the fact that the kilowatt hours to run these types of lights is 343,419 kilowatts. And so it's a substantial savings. At 10 cents per kilowatt, that's where we get the $34,000 in annual savings. Now there is, of course, uh, government rebates for energy savings, and this uh, building has pre-qualified to receive $18,000 back from that. So if we go through the numbers, we have the cost of $36,000, not too bad. Annual savings of $34,000, which is great, so um, you're off to a great start, and the rebate of $18,000. So it's easy to see that changing from this bulb to this bulb makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Condo Connection. Please join me next week when we look at the underground garage lighting retrofit, the possibilities changing from high pressure sodium lights to other types such as T8, T8 with motion sensors, which are pretty cool. They come on when, when you're in the proximity, uh, induction lighting and other lighting possibilities for underground garages. Once again, I'm your host, Van Smith. We'll see you next week.